Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falco Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. Today, it's going to be Dark and Beyond on Golden Aura, a Team Liquid map contest map. This replay is from Wardy. He's an excellent dude. Links to his Twitch and his YouTube channel in the description. Bottom right, going to be Beyond, the highest ranked Terran player in Alegulac today. And in the top left, it's going to be Dark. He is not the highest ranked Zerg player, but he is part of the four... Mm, four queens of the elite Zerg players. So this should be an excellent game, right? So it's Golden Aura, a TLMC 18 contender. And man, they are talking up a storm, aren't they? Let me see if I can translate with my phone. What is it? Bjorn says no. Bjorn says 42 in response. Darks gives us I. Oh, that, that just translated to I. Ooh, two racks opening here from Bjorn. Translating and casting at the same time is turning out to be pretty difficult. Are we done? Okay. Bring the phone back. We need to translate more Korean. Hatch first. Nothing crazy from Dark. We know what he's doing. Hit that like button if you're excited for this game. I'm excited for an incredible ZVT featuring these two players. That's for sure. Let me tell you a sad story. I cast this game and I was very proud of my cast. And then it turns out something had turned my microphone input to 100 instead of 17, which it normally is. And it is an unwatchable mess of me. Just it sounds like I'm screaming into the microphone at the top of my lungs the whole time. It sucks. It's very sad. So I'm casting it again, but it was a great game. So I am happy to do so. Yeah, so look at this. Reapers, Reapers, Reapers. Let's see if Dark catches wind of this. This Overlord's coming from an angle that he might catch it. Yeah. Okay, so he sees one Reaper. Good scout. Terry the Overlord. Terry the Overlord Merchant. Falcon Paladin. Dot store. This Reaper's name from Joseph Atwell, who is a long-time subscriber of mine. Oh, hang on. Let's translate this. Come on. Come on. Translate it. To ZQL. Nah, not working. Is Big Jack Horner, Emperor Menx, attended a heartless convention to determine who is the most despicable human in the galaxy. Or Jack Horner walked in on a bridge made up of his own men who all fell to their deaths. Jack won on the spot. Menx responded by stuffing Horner in a Reaper suit. Yeah, that's from the Puss in Boots Last Wish movie that came out this year. Really good. Good characters. It was funny. It was heartfelt. There's like real emotion and stuff in there. And. The bad guys were evil, and the, I just the messaging was really good. I just really, really, really enjoyed it. So, three Reapers, but back home, guess what he's doing? Expanding. Beyond's doing that. What am I selecting here that that follow didn't work? Don't know. This Overlord's really important. You can see that because it keeps track of where the Reapers are, so your queen positioning can be good. Yeah, so you can't get fooled if there's an Overlord watching where these Reapers go. Beyond, is this Beyond being like, I can't get in? Come on, Beyond. What are you saying, Beyond? Translate. Translate. No. Man, my phone sometimes it does. I don't know why it doesn't other times. Anywho. Yeah, third base from Beyond as well. So, like, he's got a second base. He's getting a third. Just early three racks. Or no. Two racks, three Reaper pressure. Gets anything done? No. Literally nothing died for either player here. So... Moving into Stimmed Marines. This map, kind of a nice little third base here, huh? Anytime there's a kind of a narrow ramp leading up into your third base, you're pretty happy about that if you're a Terran or a Protoss. Zerg doesn't give a crap, but Terran or Protoss does. Ah, oh, we do have a gold base down here. No gold base in the top right, though. Zelda Watchtowers. Big map. Not a million places to expand, though. So I think that's okay. These lings were made to deal with the Reapers, but now that there's no call for them to do that, they're going to knock down these rocks, which Zerg players do because they like, you know, <laughs> they just like having more wide open areas to attack and to defend with, and tight areas are what Terran enjoy, because they can't get surrounded if they are in a, like this area, right? Like this choke. Dark says, question mark? 72, 782. Wow, this translation is not working. Seriously? Ugh. 
I don't know if this translation thing is working out for us. Baneling Nest, Lair. We know all the super cool stuff that's happening in here. Hit that like button if you're excited for this cast. And this game, it's been a pretty interesting one so far. I mean, Beyond has been opening, you know, three, four, five Reapers against Zerg quite a bit recently. It's not too big of a surprise. Dark was ready for it. Not too surprising there either. Baneling Nest, double Evo from him. Beyond, Stim's almost done. Making those medevacs. No Banshees, but hang on. I know this because I have seen this game already. There's a Raven. There's a Raven heading up this left side, which is not visible. If you hold this on like a watchtower, there is a flight path up along this left side that allows you to get stuff up this way without getting spotted. Pretty cool, huh? So Raven goes auto turret down and kills a drone. And then swings up here and doesn't have enough energy to do anything else. So just kind of chilling. But guess what? You can get by queens from this position. So ow, ow, ow. And guess what? Queens over here can get you too. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, down to 12 HP. Not a happy camper, but alive, so that's good. And a little Marine Reaper push coming up this ramp. And up a ramp into a Zerg position is also pretty bad. Just the walling off, not a big of a problem here. Can he get this third base is the question. Oh, man. This is tough. The Banelings are here. They don't have speed, but they are on creep. Meanwhile, more auto turret harass on the other side. Yeah. Gets three drones down, but the top of the ramp still being held here. And did we pick up one of the Reapers? I think we... Yeah, we picked up one... Two of the Reapers got a pickup. They never get Reaper pickups, or medevac pickups. They're always second-class citizens that way. Third base here from Beyond. Mm, Dark needs a fourth base if he's going to be able to pull this thing off. Tanks in production. Centrifugal hook is done. Okay, so we only have speed now. This re-creeping this area is really important. Can Beyond get some more damage up? No fourth base here. Fourth base here. Smart. Because Beyond's been threatening this area. Siege tank set up. And high ground vision provided by, well, Medivac. Ow. And Marines and stuff. Is that a burrowed Baneling? I don't think it was. Damage output on this third base is intense. Dark. Swinging around. My gosh. Can he do it? Okay, Extractor. Easy kill. Guaranteed damage there. No big deal. These queens are standing on their own, but that tank fire being added to the damage output is so much. And when these, that queen does go down, the wraparound finally shows up. Feels like Dark took a while getting here. The tank is going to die. Shot on that tank. Big group of Banelings died. But he holds it. He holds the third base. Extractor down. Fourth base is alive. Byun's getting a fourth base of his own down south. Dark making 11 drones at once because he did lose some during the attack, but only nine in the first seven minutes of this game. Not really enough to cause the major problems. Dark is going to try to knock down with his plus one lings these rocks again. Uh, tank positioning, right? That's a good tank position back here. So weapon on these rocks removes a good position for tanks from Byun. Resaturating this gas is not a priority here from Dark, but that's okay. Two twos on the way for... Ooh, melee. So maybe we'll see some Ultralisks. And these lings are scouting and doing their job. And catches Bion moving out on the north side of the map. Or the center side. Kind of a weird drop here, but okay. Siege tank. Low ground. Picking off these creep tumors. Always a good idea. These three marines. Uh, not ah just picking them up juggling marines here how many kills do we have zero zero and oh four all right you've been hoarding all of the kills dark swinging these lings down catching the fourth base transferring over but the marines push them away fifth base at the 12 o'clock here for dark we've got bane lings on the way while well, bane ling on the way i don't know what this scd is doing oh Building a sensor tower. Okay. Canceling. Yeah. Canceled. And killed the drone. And yeah. The queens shoot away the medevac. So that is why these marines are dead. Ah. Ultralisk cavern. Okay. I feel... I don't know. ZVT on my channel recently. I just Hydroling Bane. Because that's... Ugh. 
that does not give Snipe very many targets for those ghosts, right? Tanks down. Oh, and nope, not boosting into the main here. All it takes is one spore crawler to deflect two medevacs. Maybe I should do that in my games. <laughs> Adrenal on the way. Thank you very much, Dark, for not forgetting Adrenal. I appreciate it so much. And yeah, now these lings are ready, but they weren't ready when your medevacs were here. Eh, whatever. Dark knows best. Ultralisks on the way. Chitinous plating and pathogen glands on the way here, eh? Eh, eh, eh. All right, so you've seen the thumbnail, so you know there's some pretty good fungals on the way. And yeah, I just don't know why more zergs don't use fungal growth. Question of the day. Discuss in the comments. It's a burrowed ling. I think so. Nope, just a regular ling. Oh, I see him now. Regular ling. Marauders in the front to catch the banelings. You could have said that 18 million times since Wings of Liberty. You'd always be right. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Stutter stepping here, but the banelings are getting closer. That's a pickup. Leave one Marauder behind to die. Ultralisk is out. Dropping the main base. Great success here from Bjorn. Overlord down. And he's going to go after the Ultralisk Cavern, which is very quick to kill, but quick to build, too. Patness Plating is done, but Anabolic Synthesis isn't, and that's a cancel denied on speed for the Ultralisks. Yeah, four Infestors on the way. They have Pathogen Glands, which means they're going to spawn with enough energy to throw down a Fungal. Which I feel like I said all the time when it was Heart of the Swarm and when it was early Legacy of the Void, when Infestors were very popular. Ow, that drone is just trying to expand. Especially because Fungal used to root. That was when Fungal was, like, you could not skip it in ZDT. Because rooting was the key to everything. Dude, this drop here, this drop in the main? Beyond. This is what happens when you don't have a spire. The drops can just kind of fly around wherever they want. Pick off your workers. Bane Lings! Big connections! Oh, Fungals! Fungals preventing the ability to pick up there. Yeah, see, that's another good reason to use Fungals. Prevents pickup capabilities on these medevacs. Oh, nice Widowmine shot there. Banelings do explode and wipe out the Widowmine itself. So replacement Ultralisk Cavern on the way. Four basing beyond. Fifth basing beyond. Actually has a planetary. No SCVs down here, though. Income has been largely favoring. Uh, pretty even. Which is where you want to be if you're a Terran player. Even on income against a Zerg player like Dark is wonderful. Are you going to force a cancel on this base again? Oh, he killed it. Dude, this 12 o'clock out. Really hard for Dark to take. But yeah, Lingbane Ultra Infester with uh, some Viper play here too. Once again, not interested in dropping in here. And there are actually Adrenalings this time, so... Good luck. These are 2-2 two, two Adrenalings. See the upgrades down there? 3-3 three, three Marines, yes, but Adrenal's amazing. And the gold base has been taken by Dark Bottom Left. So, God, beautiful Fungal trying to run and you can't. And it's doing damage. Wow. That Marauder Death Sound, that always gets me another sick fungal. Banelings, God, so much easier to connect with stuff when they are slowed. Amazing lesson. Beyond yeah, gonna try to get this 12 o'clock again, but look at the fungal! Look at the fungal! He picks up as soon as he can once that fungal wears off, but oof. He lost a lot of dudes. Drilling Claws coming in. Ah, the Widow Mines have been a big part of this game. Right side base of Beyond. What is this investor trying to do? So one, two, three, four, five. A sixth base of Beyond. I guess Dark's on one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh base up here. Investor's just like, ah. Uh. Oh, he didn't cancel it. Beyond, why? Why would you not cancel that? Oh, Widow Mind Connection. Sick. But so many two two link three two links in here, I apologize. However, Gold Base of Darks is getting wiped out during all of this chaos. Dark getting a lot of work done, though. Kind of an immense amount. But he didn't lift that orbital either. Why is he not lifting bases? It's Ling Bane Ultra. 
There are no Hydras here. There's no Corruptors on the field. I don't think there's even a Spire. Nope. But killing the gold base is nice. Oh, this planetary. Yeah, this planetary is dead. Banelings mean no repair. Mean everybody dies. 28 SCVs have gone down here. These Widow Mimes are like, we're trying to fire boss, but we're on cooldown. This Ultralisk is fighting by himself against a bunch of stuff, including a planetary. He's dead. Ow, are we standing on Widow Mines? Oh gosh, we're standing on Widow Mines. Don't do that. He doesn't know. See, but see, the Ultras are a target for these ghosts. But man, Dion just got knocked down to three bases. And yes, yeah, Dark lost a base, but he's still on six. Yeah, Dark's in a fine position, everybody. He's up 176 to 130 supply. But things can change. Terran's not dead until they're dead. You know that. I know that. Nice fungal. Ah, Widow Mines. Really? Ugh. The Ultralisk is dead. Who just sent a million 3 2 cracklings down? To Beyond's base. That's right. Dark did. He's got two thumbs and he's this guy. Uh. But, yeah. Yeah. These lings. Are these lings gonna. Gosh. Plus three lings with adrenal, man. Planetary down. Oh, Hatch gets killed on the other side, though. All right. So, Beyond kills a Hatch, loses a base. Dude, this worker discrepancy is a little bit too much for me right now. 72 to 42 in favor of the Terran. I know mules are good. I know Terran has comeback potential, uh, like Zergs and Protoss do not. And Terran is not dead until they're dead. So, retaking the 9 o'clock, taking the top right base is Dark. Resources lost are 27,000 for Dark and 25,000 for Byun. Oh, here it is. Here's where the mules are going to take this income down into blue territory. See? Watch them go. Watch them go. Yep, there's the blue. All right. Eight kill widow mine, ten kill widow mine. Really not bad. Painling's just rolling into Byun's third base. Not a good place to be as a third base, but I guess it's better than the fifth base because that doesn't exist anymore. Thirty-eight lings in production. Ah, widow mine connection there. Okay, widow mines are trying to keep Byun in this thing. He's only down like twenty supply now. Liberators wiping out queens. Look at this. Transfuses do a pretty good job keeping th some of them alive, but still, does he have advanced ballistics? Why does he not have advanced ballistics? He's using liberators to pretty good effect here. I guess he doesn't have a fusion core. That's the simple answer to that question. Ah, and this dude gets away with seven kills. I guess it's a dudette because liberator pilots are women, but. Oh my gosh, another dead base. Yeah. Although, Yun responding. Okay. Yeah, taking out a planetary that has an army sitting at it is difficult. Look at this. Yun accidentally scouting this top right base of darks. Is he going to kill it? Or is he going to go for a base that actually has drones at it? Uh, yeah. He says, we'll, we'll take this base. No worries. One ninety-seven and one seventy-seven supply. Bion has dragged himself back up to taking these bases. He still hasn't felt brave enough to retake his three o'clock. Army on the right side. Bit of an army on the left side holding. This is the aggressive army, but ugh. got a couple good snipes off, but neither ultra went down. Army Valley one twenty-two to one twenty-two. More Liberator shenanigans? Yeah, this one. Nine kills on that Liberator, but... Ah! Forcing a lift up on the third base again. Worst place to work in the Caprulu sector, 2023. Flings, Banes, Ultras, and the Planetary getting whacked. Two Vipers in here for the Abduct. Nice Fungal. Oh, the Chain Fungal. So good. This group up here trying to kill the 12 o'clock base, but nope. 
Marauders against Crackling's not going to have a great time. 148 to 128 supply. Ooh, Bion is brave enough to take the 3 o'clock. Well, he lost this one, so he needs it. Dark has some words for us. Ugh. Come on. Liberator, says Dark. Silonaga, says Dark. That's not a word. Congratulations, says Dark. What are we congratulating? <laughs> Dark's retaking the gold base, bottom left. Three o'clock base of Beyonce is in trouble. He just called down a bajillion mules, because that's what Terrans can do, man. But guess what this Ling informed Dark was going on? This stuff. A ah, bit of a drop down here at the gold base. A couple drones die, but a force can pick up and a get out of there. Very nicely done. Yeah, just... Fungal, yo. It's a good spell. I guess the large problem is that ghosts can EMP or infestors if they get too close. And then they're just dead weight, and it makes you sad. Have you seen any neural parasites today? Man, Dark has just been coming back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, hasn't he? He has lived in this area where Byun has been hanging out. Ooh, that fungal helped that Ultralisk stay alive. I mean, he was nice of duck. Yeah, this is looking mighty dicey. Another great fungal. Another great fungal. But, Beyond, he's got a bigger army. 93 to 80 army supply. Amazing. The thing is, the Dark's income is this. Largely favoring the, uh, the Zerg player over the last, I don't know, 10 minutes in general. Oh, Neural Parasite's on the way. Why did I think? Ah, I thought it had been researched already because I cast this game already. That's what it is. That's what it is. Ah, this gold base. Beyond's doing a pretty good job making this gold base not be a super great thing for him, but then Dark just shows up with a handful of lings and some ultras and, um, no det uh, a little bit of detection. Little bit of detection. Yeah, but adrenalings, man. Good unit. Fungal catching a couple of these ghosts, killing one with the fungal damage. But infestors taking snipes. They're, we can be invisible too, they say. And this is just too much. Yun's allowed to have this 3 o'clock, though. But, I mean, this isn't happening. This isn't happening. This is mine out. Yep. Resources lost. 45 to 41,000. Beyond's doing what he's supposed to do is killing more Zerg stuff than he's losing. But Dark just has so much of the map and so many bases. This creeps were actually kind of sucks. I was going to put the point that out there. Dark's creep is not even connecting all of his bases today. He doesn't have the middle. But, like, maybe he feels like... I don't need to. Nice fungal there, too. By golly. The fungal. It does damage. It slows. It prevents ghosts from casting snipe. What else do you want? Yeah, this game is over. This game is finito. Beyond is using every last bit of his positioning to win this game, but... Uh, yeah, that's... Yeah. When, no. When all you have left is your main base, you're not winning. The swarm is here for you. And that's your GG. Beyond, he sees the writing on the wall. He sees it. Although, is this the saving grace, perhaps? Perhaps the 3 o'clock will allow him to stay in. Oh, and the income tab looks like this. It doesn't. Liberator stuff. Come on, Bjorn. Fighting. Go fight, Bjorn. Great transfuse. Bjorn has managed to get 63 army supply of marines and marauders and no widow mines and no ghosts. So, that's not great when there's an 84 supply count here for Dark. Liberator sets up. No bad. Hey, there is a Widow Mine. Golly. That's your GG. <laughs> Bion was like, one more attack. If I, can, if I can move out and get something done, maybe I can win this. No. No, he could not. So, GG.
Well done. That was an excellent, excellent game there from Dark. Man, no Spire, huh? No Spire built. Just a Baneling Nest, Infestation Pit, Ultralisk Cavern, and a Spawning Pool. That's all he needed today. Good Fungals, good Abducts, good Blinding Cloud, and just overwhelming Bion at every turn. Resources lost, 52,000 to 48,000. Three planetary fortresses went down along with two orbital commands and four command centers. Yo. Yeah, so that's almost 10 bases. And on the other side, five hatcheries died and a couple got canceled. So pretty close to getting 10 hatcheries down. A lot of bloodshed. 900 lings died. Uh, 200 marines, 20 ghosts, 16 infestors. 110 SCVs to 41 drones is a pretty good number to get if you're a Zerg player, but sometimes the Terran can just win anyway because of the amazing power of mules, and killing their SCVs helps them free up supply, which is not exactly not exactly what you want. Anyway. Good stuff. All right, so that's going to be it for me today. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe. If you like what, like what you saw, what you heard today, you can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch. All at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.